I would like to talk about a game that I just spent about an hour and a half playing called Slayin 2. It is on Nintendo Switch and it's a side scrollum scrollum a side scrolling kind of like a beat 'em up game. Um you play at, at the beginning you play as a knight and basically you just run left and right in order to run into enemies with your sword. Uh, the knight also has the ability to, if he stops moving, he'll hold up his shield and block projectiles, which is kind of cool. And then if you hit the R button, you can switch between two lanes. Uh, like there's a front lane and then uh, higher up on the screen, there's a back lane where you'll have a bunch of enemies back there. Now, in order to um, keep your uh, health up, you want to get lots of treasure. And in order to get lots of treasure, you need to have a high uh, kill streak. So you're running back and forth, killing these monsters on the bottom lane or the top lane, trying to keep your kill streak going. The higher your kill streak, the better treasure that you're going to get. Uh, sometimes treasure chests will spawn and you can open them up with keys that you found. And, uh, the, you know, also food will pop out, which will heal you up. So it's got a really quick, uh, repetitive gameplay loop. Don't take me saying repetitive as a bad thing. I actually had a lot of fun with it. Um, so basically you've got these two lanes, you clear them out after you've, I think after you've hit a certain kill streak on the counter, then a boss will appear. And then you have to figure out the pattern to defeat that boss. Uh, the character or your character can also jump and block and attack. And you, um, as you kill the enemies, you will earn, uh, this, you'll fill this thing on the bottom called a spark meter which gives you a bonus attack, which is a little more powerful than your regular attack. Your regular attack, you, you don't even have to use a button to attack. You just run into an enemy and they die. Um, in order to uh, do your better attacks, you have to fill that spark meter by killing enemies. So hopefully I'm, I'm explaining this okay. Um, I've played through, I don't know, like eight or so levels, I think. And uh, eventually you end up unlocking other characters. It looks like there are slots for up to eight different characters. And each character has its own abilities that that, that character inherently only that character has. So the knight that you start with, you know, they have the ability to block. And if you press down while not moving, you can also spawn treasure. I didn't really use that very much because I was always moving. Uh, staying still feels very bad in this game. Staying still is scary in this game because there's so many things on the screen. It's, it's absolute chaos. The first character that I unlocked after the night was the sorceress. And her ability is that she, she can't spawn treasure at will and she can't block, but she can double jump. Uh, and then she's got an attack which sends out like it, like the knight, his special attack, his spark attack is what they call it, is just like a big swipe with a sword. And her special attack is she throws like this wind attack out in front of her that stays in place for a moment. And any monsters that come into contact with it obviously either take damage or get killed. Um, each character, there's eight different characters, and I don't know what the other characters are like yet because I haven't unlocked them, but each character then also has four weapon slots that they can unlock. So the 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 knight starts with that sword, and there's three other slots. I haven't unlocked anything yet, but it seems like there's a lot of replay from that. The, the sorceress starts with win, uh, her wind attack, and I assume that she'll probably also unlock fire attack or ice attack and things like that. And then, of course, the other characters that you'll unlock, each of them have a set of four weapons that you can unlock as well. In addition to that, it seems like you can unlock amulets that you can then or charms that you can equip. I didn't unlock any of those yet, but my first impressions of the game are that it's pretty fun. It's a $12 game. Again, it's on Nintendo Switch, and I had a lot of fun playing it in that hour and a half. In addition to what I feel like is a lot of replay value, there's also multiplayer. Now, unfortunately, there's no online multiplayer, but they do have local multiplayer. So you can get together with a friend and you can both run back and forth. Maybe like I'm going to take the top lane and you take the bottom lane, that kind of thing. The boss fights, I would say so far are pretty cool. 
Um, the, each boss has its own pattern that you have to figure out. Like, when is it safe for me to get into the same lane with the boss and, and attack them? And I would say that the graphics are really good. Uh, they're not like uh, amazing looking or anything, but it's got a cool visual art style that appeals to me. If you're watching this uh, as a video on YouTube right now, then you can see the art style for yourself. But for the people who are listening to this in podcast form, um, it's uh, sprite based, uh, very 16 bit, kind of 12 bit, you know, somewhere between the NES and the Super NES style of artwork. Um, and, and you guys know for, for me, that's, uh, an art style that I always am attracted. Like I see that and I'm like, ah, oh, I've just, I just love that. It's always something that, that makes me, uh, pay attention to a game when it has an art style like that. In fact, that's all I knew about the game when I, uh, started playing it was the art style because there was an animated GIF in the email that the publisher sent me. And I was like, oh, that looks cool. Yeah. I'll, tr- I'll check it out. Um, it's Slayin' 2, so it's a sequel. I never played the original, but I had a lot of fun with this one. The uh, music is very good, uh, very chip y but also, like, I would say 80s uh, rock and roll kind of vibe going with the music. And uh, overall, I had a lot of fun with it, and I'm looking forward to playing more of it. Maybe I'll get somebody here in the house to play uh, local multiplayer with me. And we'll see what that's like. But it's Slayin' 2. It's on the Nintendo Switch. It's $12 on the eShop. And if I were to... I, well, I don't rate games, but I would say, you know, thumbs up. It's pretty cool. 